Hello there and welcome to Disney Kind of Life. Today we decided to go over to Animal Kingdom and claim our annual pass holder magnet. Kind of a last minute trip so we're kind of getting in here a little later. But what's nice about Animal Kingdom is typically you don't have large crowds early or later in the day. Early in the day Animal Kingdom gets very crowded. So we're going to see what we can get on. We've got about, I don't know, 90 minutes before the park closes. As you can see though behind us we see a lot of people leaving. That's typical of Animal Kingdom. Which is like we, we enjoy coming here later in the days. Typically, one, it's a little cooler later in the day, and two, there's not as many people. So, let's go get our magnet and see what we can get into today. The cool part of Animal Kingdom is when you turn that corner and you get to see the Tree of Life for the first time. Kind of like the castle in Magic Kingdom or Disneyland, of course. You turn that corner and boom! you have the tree of life, the centerpiece of Animal Kingdom. Look at that, it's such a beautiful sight. It's also gonna be the home of a recently announced from D23, Zootopia Show. So that'll be coming, I believe they said 2025 winter. So that'll be exciting to put some new life into the tree, tree of life. So speaking of D23, we are heading to Dino Land USA to pick up our annual pass holder magnet. And Dino Land USA officially is on short timers list now as it was announced it is gonna get a retheme to Tropical Americas. So construction on this 11 acre section of the park is set to begin this fall as we transform Dinoland USA into Tropical Americas. This work, this work's gonna begin in phases, making sure that you still have a chance to experience dinosaur one more time. They're gonna have three attractions there, anchored by Indiana Jones and Encanto, and then they're also gonna have a little carousel that has wooden, like, they're not horses, but they're, you know, horse I mean, creatures you can sit on for a merry-go-round that are, you know, themed after, uh, Disney animated movies, I think, um, and also Pixar. They showed off Kevin at D23. So I guess creatures like that will be on the merry-go-round in the Tropical Americas. The Encanto will have a dark ride and also Indiana Jones. So we're going to attempt to show you where we think Encanto and the merry-go-round will be. And obviously Indiana Jones is replacing Dinosaur. We're approaching Dinoland USA. As we said earlier, it's on borrowed time now. It will be called Tropical Americas. As announced by D23 just last week. It's been rumored for a long time that this was coming, but now it's official. It is also the home of our AP magnet that we're going to be grabbing today. Some more scenery of the Dinoland USA. Of course, all of this will be rethemed. Get a nice little look at this cool sign for the Din Donald's Dinoland Bash, which was pretty cool if you were lucky enough to catch it while it was running. I don't believe they do it anymore. Now we're on the hunt for our annual pass magnet inside Dinoland USA. We walked by this area earlier and the line was out here. So we're gonna go get the magnet, hopefully with minimal weight. So I can't stress it enough, no need to rope drop the AP magnet. Um, just come by, you know, within the last hour of the park and they're just waiting here for us. Look at that, got ours. And we got our magnets. And we believe right behind us is probably where the House Magical is going to end up. I'm pretty sure this probably won't be here then. So, you know, come get your last picture inside this little standout in front of Dinoland USA. Over on the other side of the town, there's a famous house. You may have heard of this. Now let me tell you about what's going on inside this event. We're arriving on the day Antonio receives his imaginative gift, which I'm sure you all remember allows him to communicate Animals. And we're going beyond the movie story with our attraction. Casita has magically brought furniture to life for us to journey through the various rooms in the house, ultimately ending up in Antonio's room, which has been transformed into a rainforest. So over here where Triceratops twirl was, or whirl, I think, I'm going to guess this is where the Encanto area is going to be. So there's already a wall up here where the the attraction used to be. So I'm guessing in Kento, the House Magical is gonna be over in this direction. In a horse stable, one Esperanza resident, a wood carver, 
has created a carousel featuring his favorite animals from Disney stories. I mean, they did mention there's going to be a carousel. I would imagine it's probably going to replace this or be in this general area. They're actually going to build an entire village here. But I could see the carousel going kind of in this area, across the street kind of from the House Magical. This is going to be a completely new story, different from any other Indian attraction anywhere we have in the world. It takes place in an ancient Maya temple that Indy has recently discovered and he's heard rumors about a mythical creature that lives deep within this temple. Now, Indy being Indy, he wants to go see it himself. But the best part is, he's bringing us along with him. Obviously, Indiana Jones is replacing Dinosaur, which is in the other corner of this area. So that's a pretty obvious location. We know where that one's going, at least. The other two attractions are kind of a mystery, but I would assume we're probably not too far off in our guess that where Triceratop World was will be House Magical, which is like a dark ride in the style of Encanto. The rest of this area is going to be like a village, which right now, of course, is like this makeshift carnival area. And then I would think the carousel will be around this area somewhere. And the carousel looks like it's kind of big, which is cool, but a um, much needed update into this area. Like, this area needs an update. It's, it's always dead. We're walking through here right now and you can see there's not a lot of activity. Now, granted, the park does close within the next hour, but this area is never really bustling with people, so it'll be a welcome addition. It's supposed to open in 2027. Dinoland stuff! We're going to Dinoland USA or Dinorama in Dinoland USA. Let's do it! You always have to give it up to Dinoland USA for trying to be an amazing section. I mean, they have cardboard cutout type things to take goofy photos in, which is really cool. I like the little atmospheric stuff like this of Dinoland. Uh, just as a whole, though, the area never really, really hit. Probably could have used some more, you know, family-style attractions to kind of hit home, like a carnival. But, you know, these little things like here are kind of cool. Maybe I'll go take a picture. And we're going to head over to Everest. We got about 30 minutes until the park closes. Looks like it's a 10-minute wait. Like we were saying earlier, uh, if you come to Animal Kingdom later, the wait times are usually really low versus early in the day. So. Everest is a 10 minute wait, I guarantee you it's a walk on. I'll show you a little bit of approach of Everest. We're approaching it in this kind of really cool, you know, area. I always like the way it looks. You can hear the people screaming to death on Everest over there. I always love the way this area looks. And you can see how empty it is 30 minutes before the park closes. All right, we just got off of Expedition Everest and it was a walk on. It said 10 minutes, we walked right on it. We got about 20 minutes now before the park closes. So we're gonna kind of head over and see if we can get on the safari. We are gonna run. We weren't hopeful for an announcement for the little arena here in front of Everest, but we wish D23 did have something to announce about this area. It's begging for a show. The last thing they had here was Kite Tales, which we enjoyed for what it was, but Kite Tales was an interesting show if you got to, to see it for the 50th, but they need to put something here, something for a nighttime show. Let's keep this park open later. And it's such a beautiful arena. This is a beautiful park in general. It's our favorite themed park of the four here in Orlando, but it is not the one we, we visit the most. It's always a cool photo spot behind us back here. Sometimes there's even a photo pass person there, but we're getting very late in the day now, so not too many people around. In fact, look at this. There's absolutely nobody in this pathway behind the Tree of Life. Usually there's a line of people here to take a picture here. Uh, I guess right now the, the visibility is not very good. I can take a picture like this, or like this. It's gotta block the sun. Or I can just be blind and like this. So Yak and Yeti is our favorite restaurant on property. We visit Yak and Yeti a lot. And uh, we're not gonna eat here today, but we do have some footage to share with you from the last time we ate here that we're gonna include this in video because it's part of Animal Kingdom. So highly suggest Yak and Yeti when you're at Animal Kingdom. Here we go, this is the Bang Bang Calamari, one of our favorite dishes here. It's even got tempura jalapenos. I'm in, sweet chili sauce, little lemon to squeeze on it. And then we have the Korean beef. We got red peppers in there, pineapple. For $3 extra, we made fried rice happen. Can't wait to dig into both of these. 
So typically we share an appetizer and a main dish here. So today we have the, the Korean beef. So I kind of made a, a plate of it here. I don't know if you can see it. We got the Korean beef, we got the fried rice, pineapple, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, even a yellow bell pepper, and some onions. So the best way to attack this dish is to kind of mix them all together. And so I'm gonna do that. I don't typically mix it in with the rice, but I will mix the beef, the pineapple, and one of the bell peppers. So you get a little bit of the spice and savoriness all at once. So I'm gonna eat this one. It is so good. I'm gonna go in for the bang bang calamari that's dipping in some sweet chili sauce. It's so good. I love this appetizer so much. Every time we come here, it gets me. It's so good. Entering the African section of Animal Kingdom, of course, this is where the safari is located, Fort Hamrambe. And we're approaching Kilimanjaro safaris. A lot of times people will tell you the animals are asleep at this time, but uh, we've definitely been on it in the evening and, and seen our fair share of animals. So we always say check it out, especially if it's a 10 minute wait, you're really not risking much. There's a couple of storks. There's a hippo. There's a big one. We're heading into the savanna, of course, is the main attraction of the safari. Let's see what we get into here. We'll start off with the wildebeest. Coley cattle on the right hand side. A couple of giraffes here on the right. Oh, here's the elephant. Big elephant. Big male African elephant all by himself over here. And a group of flamingos is called. There's a white rhino. Another one Just up chilling under the tree. Well. We caught a little bit of the leaf art that they do sometimes at the Disney parks. They're still in the middle of making it. Looks like it's going to be a lion. So here's all the D23 announcements on one sign. Both the items on the left, stuff to be a bug, and Dino Lane USA will be extinct. Haha, <laughs> pun intended, of course. Tough to be a bug is going to be replaced by Zootopia attraction. That one's coming sooner than Dino Land. So the Zootopia will show up next winter, 2025. And Dinoland USA will be going extinct throughout the next couple years and making way for Tropical Americas, which will open in 2027. And that concludes our Disney kind of life today from Animal Kingdom in front of the Tree of Life. Beautiful sight here. We did a lot in just a little bit over an hour. Obviously, we came here for our magnets and we got that. Bing! Oh, it's upside down. How about that way? There you go. Got our magnet over in Dinoland USA, which of course we announced, well, D23 announced is going to be Tropical Americas. Also, uh, Tree of Life is obviously going to be invaded by Zootopia. Winter of 2025, we got on Everest, buzzer-beated Kilimanjaro Safari and saw lots of animals. And we showed you a little archival bonus footage of Yak and Yeti, our favorite restaurant on property. Highly suggest going there. So we hope you enjoyed our Disney kind of life. And if you like this kind of content and want to be notified in the future of other drops, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the little bell notify. Until next time on our Disney Kind of Life, we will see you. Bye!